The lovely Milena is searching for a husband. Will she find a husband in the small town of Lakinsk, a town that has seen much better days? Фабрика имени Лакина – передовое текстильное предприятие Владимирской области. Прочно входит в жизнь механизация и автоматизация. Во многих цехах почти все трудоемкие работы выполняются машинами. So today we're doing a video looking for a husband in a Russian small town. Как чувствуешь? I'm so nervous about this and uh, I hope it uh, will be fun cool. for us, yes. Come on, it's going to be fun. <laughs> Can you imagine having to use a well for water? I mean, yeah, every now and again, but like, like all the time? It would be pretty crazy right, having to do that. We're still in rug cleaning season, as you can see. I'm selling some furniture if you want it, some bedding and some um, cupboards. If anyone's interested, let me know. Russian girls, always looking in the mirror, always doing their makeup. Sam, this is my garderobe. Yeah, wardrobe. I will take it to... Uh, no, to I'm selling it. It's for sale. <laughs> yes, for sale. I always find it fascinating how these kind of barns have been put together with lots of different pieces of wood. When there's been a hole, they patch it up with some sort of wood and it ends up looking like this. So look how many different pieces of wood have been added to this to cover the holes over the years, look. It's insane, isn't it? Let's see if this one's got the Soviet creek or not. No, it's well oiled. So all throughout this area I'm going to see little areas like this with benches that people probably sit on in the evenings and relax. Look, you can see there's a barbecue here and these little small quiet pathways between the houses. The common feature I see here is people are hanging their clothes out, which is not something that's often done in Russia. I love houses like this with so much character and those Soviet double glazing windows. But these hot water pipes really do just make the place look ugly, you know? I suppose there's nothing that can be done now, it's been so long. They've been there for, I'm not gonna dig up the land now and put the pipes underneath, are they? Wow, look at this car. The guy's got a Kalashnikov sticker in the back window. That is pretty cool, isn't it? Wow. I gotta stop saying wow, but that is wow, isn't it? Husband, where are you? <laughs> Moosh, it's your Moosha. Wow, there's more things in this sand pit than there is sand. <laughs> what do you think? Would you like to live here? <laughs> Blimey. It's like a different world, isn't it? Yes, Nayo. Yes, Nayo. As this reminds me of uh, the film Hostel, all these kids, like criminal gangs, they're, they're blocking the road for the uh, for the criminals. So here, look, it says hairdressers, or it once said hairdressers. So what do you think? Has this guy got a brick here? Or is he an architect of some sort doing something? I don't know. So look, we found the main square. The problem is that there's, there's no one here today. I don't think we're gonna find a husband for Milena. This seems to be the choice car of the region. So look, this is the market now. We were hoping to come to the market and find loads of activity going on, but uh, not really much happening. Seems pretty dead. Perhaps we're late. 
perhaps everyone's closed already but yeah it's a bit um it's a bit dead for a main market of a town isn't it look the the men of the town are not paying any attention to her they're not looking at all oh dear it's not working for Milena today it's not happening at all for her so we all thought that Milena was really popular but in this town she's not popular at all and still no paying attention to her poor Milena she's just standing here nobody wants to be her husband she's going to be single today guys so would you like to live here with Milena maybe in this house move here and live together so tell us Milena what are you looking for in a husband uh, I, uh, силу, чтобы он был мужественным, чтобы он был немного старше меня, и чтобы мне было с ним интересно проводить время, и чтобы он был активным, жизнерадостным и спортивным, потому что я очень люблю спорт. Хорошо. Who is this guy here? I wonder what his name is. He's very gold looking. Milena, maybe he's your husband. ideal husband. He's gold. Maybe, maybe. We husband in uh, this area maybe he will be your husband from here maybe look he's just driving past he doesn't even care so this is like really crazy we're just walking around this town looking for a husband for our beautiful Milena and there's no one here guys uh, how are you think about this uh, what's the problem What's about me? Hmm? What's wrong? Why does nobody want to marry Milena? I just think it's a lack of people. I think that's what it is. Nobody uh, don't want to be my husband. I think we should do some advertising maybe before we go to the town so that everyone knows in the town that Milena's going to come and she's going to be advertising her decision to find a husband. Look at this house here. This house here will be connected to this factory over here and this is where we're going to now and look this is Prospect Leniner so this would have been the main street at one point look one person up there has got a blue balcony now you can probably hear the noise right that is the main dual carriageway or the triple carriageway or whatever it's called that goes from Vladimir to Moscow so imagine living here and just hearing that noise every day it would just be crazy right what do you think of this red brick housing behind me? It's really nice, right? The thing is, it's next to the motorway. So there's no chance of like doing any work with it and making it nice. No one's going to live there. Look what me and Milena have found. Maybe she's going to find her husband. Maybe. Husband. In here. Now this looks pretty scary. Oh my God. Because... The problem is here, look guys, is because we're in a town. So here, there could be anyone inside it. And we want to find some Soviet artifacts, but I doubt we're going to. In fact, we're not even going to go inside there. It just looks ruined, depressing. What's the point to show you another abandoned house with just rats and rubbish and nothing good in there? Привет, привет. Привет. Но я не буду врать, я тебя знаю уже, мы уже знакомы уже сколько лет, не сколько видео снимал, но, конечно, приятно тебе видеть и понимать, что ты из Лакинска. Да, да, да. А ты здесь до сколько лет жил? До четырех лет. А, до четырех лет, да? Да, у меня родители оттуда, бабушки, дедушки и куча родственников до сих пор. Дяди, тети. И они здесь до сих пор? В Лакинске, да, они живут, да, да, да. А как тебе город Лакинск? Слушай, ну, это город, где я провела все вообще детство. Uh -huh. Просто каждое лето я ездила к бабушке, uh -huh. и ходили в лес, и во враг, uh -huh. и везде на велосипедах катались. Ну, это все мое детство. Uh -huh. А сейчас, конечно, он уже в таком Вкусный. немножко в упадке. Uh -huh. Много фабрика вот была очень известная, она развалилась, да, фабрика вся развалилась. Вот, конечно, не в лучшем сейчас состоянии город, но все равно приезжаю в гости к родственникам. 
Gut. Люблю там бывать, да, воспоминания детства. Хорошо. Гуд, спасибо. Пожалуйста. Maybe this is going to help, or maybe someone can see from up there, look. Do you think, are we going to find some gold in here, some Soviet gold? There's some underpants hanging from the tree. So it's kind of boarded up, I think. They've boarded up the entrance. Oh. Uh, in our childhood, uh, in the winter, uh, we sit in on the this, uh, Trube. Mm, pipes. Uh, uh? pipes. Pipes. And uh, this is uh, was our inter uh, entertainment uh, mm -hmm. for uh, all children in my country. And uh, we were very funny. <laughs> Loads of unwanted furniture in here. Look, a Soviet toilet. She's doing her best, isn't she, to find some some man or a man. Don't know if anyone over there is going to be interested. So what do you think guys? Would you like to move here? Get married to Milena? We'd have a garden like this, look. Live in this house. What do you think? Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Ooh. Milena, your clothes are, are drying here? <gasps> yes! Dress, yeah, I remember you wore this. My my red dress. Yeah, yes. you wore it the other day. Oh. Wait a second. And this is also your underwear. Oh my god, yes. Somebody stole it from you, I think. Yes. Someone stole your underwear and, from my town. and hung it here. Oh, we've got like a whole clothing washing factory going on here. В нашем детстве еще было такое развлечение. Мы выходили летом на улицу и вот на этих нитках катались, как на качелях. У нас не было качелей, либо они были сломаны. И вот а -а -а. Мы на нитках катались, и на нас орали соседи, потому что мы их срывали. Сломали? Вы не сломали им, да? Вообще? Нет, мы срывали эти а -а -а. нитки, они вешали новые, и мы снова на них, как обезьяны, катались. А под своим весом они у нас сорвались, а -а -а. и нас опять ругали, прогоняли, и мы от них убегали. А вот такое развлечение в России. Летом такое, а зимой на трубах сидеть а -а -а. и греться. Maybe I'm go to there. Maybe many people see me. Yeah. Wow! Look at these swings. Look, made from old tires. I'm scared to sit on it. I'll probably break it. Look, you can see some of these windows are open, and some of them are closed. <gasps> we found a way in. Most important thing again, Sam. Don't stand on nails. Don't stand. Ah, your funny foot. Stand on a nail and you're fucked. I did it the other day and I was lucky. Here we are. I'm inside. Let's have a look what's going on in there. Wow. Completely empty. It's hard because you want to look at where you're going, but you also got to look at the floor otherwise you could be fucked completely we've got some hydroglyphics look on the wall there so there's not much going on in this part of it let's go further down and see if we can find a better way inside so look I'm going under I'm going under Are we going to find anything interesting in here? I hope so. Wow. I love these old buildings. The goal, of course, is to find anything from the past and also to not get caught by security guards who are kind of breaking in. So in the Soviet Union, every factory made a different thing. In this factory, they literally made bandages. That's it, bandages. At the moment I'm being blocked off by the best security guards in the world, which is nettles. Just imagine this huge factory and all they made was bandages. Bandages for the whole of the Soviet Union. I need to get down there, but they're so deep. The nettles is crazy. 
Wow, looks like a death trap inside there. I see a doorway. I see a doorway. Wow. It's quite scary, isn't it, at the same time when you're on your own. And these buildings are huge and dark. You've got no idea if there's someone else going to be in here or security going to be in here and you're going to get fucking bollocked in court. And it's pitch black. And it's scary as fuck. And obviously as well it could fall down on you, right? Pretty scary. But it doesn't seem to be much in here. Let's go and have a look at another entrance. I think what makes it more scary here is the fact that behind that wall there is a motorway. So all of the cars and trucks going past, zooming past, making loads of noise. And then the other side of me, there's an abandoned factory. It's pretty crazy. And look, we've got antennas at the top of there. So it's obviously still being used at least for antennas. I tell you what, if there was a group of us and we all had torches, I'd definitely go really far in here and explore the whole thing. But because I'm on my own, it's fucking scary, isn't it? Look how scary it is, and uh, wow. It's got a whole eerie feel to it, hasn't it? Kind of like an abandoned, I don't know, Chernobyl or something. Wow, it's proper scary. I can see a mosaic look at the end of here. Can you see that? Half a mosaic at the end. Wow, it's so scary. It really is though. It's really quite scary. You know, I want to go further. I want to go to the second floor, to the third floor and have a look around, but it's quite intimidating. It's got this eeriness to it. To think that at one point thousands of people would have worked in here. Wow, and look over there. That's how much has been knocked down and smashed down behind there. It is insanely big, this factory. Obviously it's weird because there could be a hole or anything. You just fall down it and you're fucking gone for life, aren't you? So it's really scary walking down these places. No one would find you, would they? There's one of those holes, look. Good night if you fall down there. It just goes pitch black into there. This at one point would have been the shop, look. Hello. You guarding, you guarding the factory. Oh, yes, Nio. Yes, Nio. Fancy a swim? Wow, I really have got a thing for these old buildings. They look really just cool. Obviously, not to live in but to look at and to walk around in every now and again. <laughs> hey, your first reaction. So look, she's found her husband. She's found her husband, he's very young, but her first find of the day, and that's it, they've taken her away. <laughs> 